One of the biggest leaks in Nintendo history has been happening all weekend long as some sort of hacker or just nefarious third party got a hold of a Game Freak employee details to log into Nintendo's backend and download over a terabyte of data. And I, look, this is abhorrent on a scale that I don't really know how to properly describe. Absolutely wish this never happened, but all this information has now become public. For the sake of this uh, video, we will not be talking about who the employee is involved and, and whose account got hacked or any of the private employee information. I think that is obviously one going way too far. And two, look, this stuff's already out there. The employee is probably already in enough trouble, or if they're not in trouble, this at least will lead to uh, some sort of security uh, increase or Nintendo and Game Freak, you know, sorting out how they could try to prevent this stuff from happening. Again, we had this happen a long time ago in a leak known as the Giga Leak. This one's being now known as the Terra Leak. And look, we do have some information on a, the Nintendo Switch 2. We have information on a new game for the system and another new game that may or may not be coming to the system or Switch, etc. cetera. Uh, and a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, look, we're dealing with Game Freak. We're dealing with Pokemon. So most of this is just Pokemon stuff. But man, we have uh, some key details that I just can't ignore and I want to make sure we cover. Uh, but before we do that, I actually want to get into... Game Freak's official statement on this. They made a statement today, uh, earlier today. It has been fully translated. They made the statement in Japanese. Uh, here is what it says. Uh, a notice and apology regarding the leak of personal information following unauthorized access. Game Freak has discovered that personal information of employees and others was leaked in connection with unauthorized access to our server by a third party in August of 2024. We sincerely apologize for the inconvenience and concern cause to all involved so point number one leaked personal information personal data regarding our company etc items names company and address number of items this is the number of items that were taken 2606 so that's the number of documents taken and it says our employees and contract workers including former employees and ex-employees uh, point number two responses to individuals whose personal information has been leaked we are contacting the affected employees individually for those who cannot be contacted individually due to resignation or other reasons we will notify them through this announcement and set up a contact point to respond to inquiries regarding this matter number three measures to prevent recurrence so to not have this in the future we have already rebuilt and inspected the server and we strive to prevent a recurrence by further strengthening our security measures so obviously i'm not going to detail what those security measures are because that obviously then gives details on how to work around them uh number four and the final point inquiries regarding this matter if you are affected by this matter please contact the following office for inquiries and then there is a form for it so in other words they are acknowledging that this is real this happened it's unfortunate i don't know or think the person that uh if they are a current employee of game freak is actually in trouble uh whether they clicked on a link and got hacked like that or had a key logger or Maybe someone just through brute force ended up figuring out their password. I don't know. It's rather unfortunate, uh, but there are a ton of things out there publicly. I'm going to note in this video, we're not going over everything because one, it's almost impossible, a terabyte of information. Uh, two, there's some crazy things out there, some crazy um, things being claimed anyways. This is, as an example, the person that supposedly is the original leaker for this information claims to have a fully playable build of Pokemon Legend ZA. Now, I want to note that he said he would not leak this build, nor would he leak most information regarding Pokemon Legends ZA. Uh, a lot of the stuff that's been leaked is really dealing with stuff in the past. However, we're going to focus on the stuff that's coming up in the future uh, because I think that's the most interesting parts for general Nintendo audiences. I think if you're a mega Pokemon fan, you're going to absolutely be interested in beta Pokemon and uh, conversations and all the stuff about, you know, prior Pokemon games. There's an entire document uh, surrounding the conversation about why they removed Ash Ketchum and ended his story in the anime. So, like, there's a ton of stuff here, but we're going to focus on the new stuff, because I think that's what interests most of my audience. And first off, this begins with Pokemon Generation 10. That's right, whatever's next after Scarlet and Violet. First off, its code name is Pokemon Gaia. It's G-A-I-A. -A. Again, I might be pronouncing that wrong, but that is uh, what it says in the documents. But here's the crazy part about it. It is in active development through several different documents for the ounce nintendo ounce ounces ounce they use a plural and they use a singular uh it yeah 
this is a code name for Nintendo Switch 2. Now, we had often thought for a while that this actually was the code name. It's appeared several times over the last two updates in the Nintendo Switch operating system. Uh, there was also some leakers in the past that said that this was the case, but we never really had full confirmation that it ounce in the operating system meant Nintendo Switch 2 or that the ounce from the leakers that this was all the same thing. Well, it turns out we now know Pokemon Gen 10 is in development for Nintendo Switch 2 and the code name of the system is Ounce. Now, it's kind of crazy that that's the code name. Sometimes the code names have something to do directly with what the system's about. Sometimes they're just kind of random names, so it's hard to guess. Anyways, Nintendo, Nintendo has never publicly announced or acknowledged this code name, but to me, it's still worth paying attention to. And I do think that, uh, look, this is a confirmation of something we thought to be true, we now know to be true. So that's really cool. Unfortunately, like, new switch to information beyond that like if you want to know controllers and all that stuff like there's not really anything here uh so far anyways i, I want to know the leak is still ongoing and new information can come up any day and we'll cover that new information if it comes to light but for right now that's about all we have for new for Nintendo Switch 2. Now, when it comes to Pokemon Gen 10, they also ran a test for the game back in 2023 for Nintendo Switch, but there's no reference to running the game on Switch since that test in 2023. So this has led some people to believe, well, they tested it for Switch, but decided to make it Switch 2 only. Some people are also taking this to believe the game's going to be cross-gen. Now, Pokemon doesn't really do cross-gen too often, but we'll have to wait and see on that front. Uh, I, I'm just going to kind of let that one be. I think that right now, mostly it's speculation that it happens to be uh, cross-platform. But one thing we know for sure is it is coming to Nintendo Switch 2. There are too many references, too many recent references for it to come to any other conclusion. And if I had to guess, this is probably a 2026 game uh, with Pokemon Legends being the big game for next year. And we do have a smidge of information on Pokemon Legends. Not a lot, but something that you guys might be interested in. Now, that's not the only new Pokemon game. Uh, there's another one called Pokemon Synapse. Now, this is just the code name for it. It is a multiplayer game that's in the works between Game Freak and Ilka. They are working together on this game, and it's described in the documents as Splatoon-like, but they also use the term MMO, which is Massively Multiplayer Online. This usually refers to MMO RPGs and games like that, where there's this huge online world where everyone comes together and plays whatever they're playing. If it's not an RPG, it could be something else. But it appears that what they really mean with MMO, at least based on the terminology of Splatoon-like, is they're talking about something that is just literal, like it's a massively multiplayer online game. So it involves a lot of people playing the game online, but not necessarily all in the same world, if that makes sense. We don't really know if this game's obviously ever going to come out, but we do know that it is in development and an active development. Uh, no platforms here. We can't tell if it's for Switch or Switch 2 or if this is like a next year game or any of that information. We don't have exact information on it. There is some uh, documents that, that detail potential Pokemon and other things in the game, but uh, that's about all we have for that. Now, there's also what I think is maybe the most fascinating part of this leak, and I'm not going to go over all of it, but there is a document at Game Freak no surprise here, that details the origin of the Pokemon universe. And let's just say it all began with a vortex of chaos. I'm not going to dive too deep into it, uh, but uh, po Pokemon and humans came from gods. It's a crazy thing. I don't really want to go, because like, this might not be canon. Uh, this is definitely something they have written down. This is something that maybe is canon, but they've never put this out publicly. So, yeah, this could just be an idea they have for the origins of Pokemon and whether or not they ever put these origins in any movie, anime, game, or whatever, we don't know. But uh, I just think it's kind of cool. To me, it's one of the biggest things from the whole league, and it's an uh, English translation of Japanese text. I'll put a link to it uh, down in the description. We'll put links to everything we're mentioning specifically. And if you guys are wondering you want to follow this directly, because, hey, I'm not showing a lot of imagery here. I've showed a few tweets or whatever. Central leaks. That's the place you need to go. Don't worry about trying to get on the Discord server where the leaks are happening. Also, it's really chaotic. I'm on that server. It's, it's kind of a hot mess. Just follow Central Leaks for... Uh, pretty much any of this stuff if that's what you're most interested in. Now, I want to end by talking about Legend ZA. Look, we still don't really know hardly anything about this game. And while supposedly the hacker has a playable version, uh, he's not releasing it. Or at least he's not releasing it yet. Or he's just lying that there's a playable version. It's not like we can really know. It's not like we can say this person isn't shady because this person did hack into 
game freak. So that alone already makes him kind of a shady person. So uh, kind of questionable if we could trust if there actually is a playable version of Legends EA, but there's a smidge of information that came out about it. Uh, mostly that Mega Zygarde and Zorora uh, is a thing in the game and will also be in the anime. So that mostly we find this out just from you know talks between uh, the you know Legends team and the anime team. That's kind of where that came from. And then supposedly the game was due out this year. Uh, and now we know it's not, and we know it's not even coming super early next year. So we know the game has definitely been delayed into, uh, you know, the middle or late of 2025. And I think a lot of that was probably just the backlash over Scarlet and Violet. Hey, let's really clean this up. Let's really polish this. Let's also spend more time working on Gen 10. So I kind of feel like they just pushed all the time schedules back to allow these games to have longer development times, more polish and all of that. So uh, probably a good thing overall, even though uh, Pokemon Legends didn't have the same problem Scarlet and Violet did. I still think it's a pretty good thing. The last bit of information that I'll just note is in here, because again, tons of stuff coming out. There's information on movies that have either been canceled or are still in production. We have like an entire plot line for Detective Pikachu 2. Again, not going to go over it here or show any images of it, but that's out there. Uh, there's also stuff on like other Pokemon animes, a deal with Netflix for a Pokemon show that's supposed to launch this year, but maybe has been delayed to next year. Uh, so Netflix and Pokemon might have a partnership going on. There's also... Some of them are about a movie that was supposed to bring back old school fans that was supposed to release in 2023 but hasn't yet. Might still be in after production. Might have been canceled. We don't know. And when they say old school fans, I mean people like me. You know, so it appeals to a bit of an older audience. So I don't know. I'm just going to sit back and say that one, it's really unfortunate these leaks happen, okay? I am not a believer in hacking people's accounts and getting this information. Once it becomes public knowledge, I do think it's fair game to cover it. I know some people will feel like, well, covering it, you're amplifying it, which means you're saying this stuff is okay, and I do not think it's okay. Uh, this personal information sucks. I'm glad that Pokemon Company has cleaned up their security and made it uh, better. Nintendo obviously dealt with something like this, similar with the Giga Leak, and just like back then, hey, look, once the stuff's in the public domain, it's in the public domain, what are you going to do about it? There's no point in fretting we are obviously not going to show any images uh directly here of like beta pokemon or any of that stuff just out of respect uh for the pokemon company and the fact that these designs could come back in the future right like just because these beta pokemon might not be in a game doesn't mean they can't be in a future game so we'll leave it at that um i want to thank you guys for tuning in i want to get your thoughts on all this down in the comments below i'm not sure how much additional coverage we're going to do of this unless some more de leaked details come out for switch 2 legends ea or gen 10 those are kind of the ones we're focused on or even that new multiplayer game if more stuff comes out about that because honestly that's the more interesting data for me about the future of the series rather than about the past the past is cool and i'm sure a lot of you poker freaks out there are having an amazing time by the way i mean that in like actually like in in a positive way i think poker freak is a, is a great name uh so for all you poker freaks out there go dive headfirst in have a lot of fun enjoy the lore and the history and and all this stuff behind the games uh but for us here we're obviously focused on the future not the past and uh yeah so we'll keep you up to date if any new things come out for za and stuff like that unless of course the entire game leaks online uh if a playable version of pokemon legend za does end up leaking online we will no longer be covering anything with legend za that's not like official trailers and stuff because i do not believe in uh sharing basically the entire game you know what i mean i, I feel like that is uh not good. I, I really hope that playable version doesn't exist because that would suck. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am the Thunder Robo Jans from Nintendo Prime. Go pack, go, baby. I'll catch you in the next video.